So what we're going to learn to do today is we're going to learn to, to use the counting on strategy for addition. So let's say we have five. We have five fingers, right? And say we put two more fingers up. How many do we have all together? And we have five. So we go ahead and we know this is five. And then we can go six, seven. So we don't need to go back and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can go ahead and count on. And we know that five plus two is seven. So five, six, seven. We'll go ahead and put those down now. All right, let's say we have five and we put up three more fingers. So again, we have five and three more fingers. So it'd be five, six, seven, eight. And again, our equation would be five plus three, which would be five, six, seven, eight. Again, we don't need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can just count on to five and go five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's say we only had three fingers, right? So we have three fingers here. And let's say we put up two more. How many will we have? Again, we have three, four, five. And again, our equation would be three plus two equals five. So three, four, five. All right, so say we have five and we put up four more fingers. How many do we have all together? So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, our equation is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, we don't need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because we already know that this right here, this is five. All right, let's do one more. All right, so let's say we have five and we put up another five. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we know that five plus five is ten. So when counting on, you can always start counting on from the larger number or the one number that you're starting your count at, and then you can go ahead and add on, and there's no need to go back and to, get, to keep counting everything from one. 